The market in 2022 has been a roller coaster. With houses being listed and contracted within two or three days at times. In this video, I want to give you a top five ways to make your offer more appealing. Come on in and have a seat. I'm Ben Weaver, Illinois attorney and founder of 23 Legal. I provide personal, practical, and professional legal service by guiding clients through the process of buying and selling a home throughout Chicago and its suburbs. And today, we'll discuss the top five ways to help ensure your offer for a house is the most appealing. Number five, offer to buy the house as is. The hotter the market, the more common as is purchases and sales become. We recently released a video on top five reasons you may want to buy a house as is, so go ahead and check that video out for an in-depth explanation. Number four, waive that home inspection. You see a house and completely fall in love. You desperately want the house. One way that will completely make your offer stand out is to waive that right to a home inspection. To do this, all parties initial paragraph 11 of the standard Chicago area real estate contract. Now this means a seller not have to deal with a possible inconvenient scheduling of inspection. It also means any usual inspection repairs, like possible mold, radon levels, flooding issues in the basement, will probably be unknown to the buyer until after closing. Yeah, it's a risky gamble, but it's a method that can make your offer stand out above the rest. So I just want to point out that this one issue is the most common one that buyers regret after signing. And now, I'm, a, I'm an attorney, we all want to respect the contract and what we agree to in the contract, but just be aware, especially I'm saying this to the sellers, if you sign a contract, waiving the home inspection, most likely that first letter from the buyer's going to be and you know, we, we understand that we, we, we waived the home inspection, but we're rethinking it. As soon as the buyer signs the, the contract waiving the inspection, you know, their uncle, their cousin who's a realtor in Nevada, the guy who works in the office with them, who lives at home and spends all day on some subreddit, investing subreddit, they're all going to be telling them they're an idiot for waiving the home inspection. So be, be prepared to, to have the attorney say, yeah, we're we, we rethinking that one. So I'm just saying, be, be prepared for it. Number three. Price Escalation Rider. The Price Escalation Rider is a clause that can be entered in a contract that says the price of your offer can continue to increase to a certain specified amount. So let's talk this through and make some sense. Let's say you got an early offer in on a house for about $230,000. You feel like you got a good deal, but you're somewhat worried someone else may offer a bit higher. You can enter the rider into the contract to any price point you feel comfortable. So if you decide to put the rider to $260,000 and someone else makes an offer above your original $230,000, but less than that $260,000, you're still the highest offer on the house without having to do any more work later in the deal. With this being a sort of new concept, if you have any questions about it, go ahead and reach out to your realtor and they can answer any questions you might have. Number two, be flexible with your preferred closing date. I can't stress enough that every transaction is different, every seller is different, and some sellers might already have a house under contract and want to be out of their current house by a specific date. Some sellers already have a purchase completed or own a rental property and just want the process with over it as soon as possible. Then there are sellers who have not even begun looking for a new house yet and want to close as late as possible. Being flexible with your agreed upon closing date can spell the difference between having your offer accepted or having it left in the dust. Number one, offer more money. The most tried and true way to make sure your offer stands out amongst the rest is to simply offer the most money. Your offer could be way above the asking price to a level there's no way the seller could not accept yours. As much as different clauses, contractual changes, and generous timeframes can help, nothing speaks louder to a seller than offering more cold hard cash than the next guy. Well, those are five ways to make sure your offer is as appealing as possible. Do you have any other suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. Maybe we'll do a part two down the road. Drop a like if you found this helpful. 
and subscribe to 23 Legal for more real estate law content. I'm Ben Weaver, Owen taking new contracts and clients, and I'll see you in the next video.